Hey guys, what's up? Today I'm bringing you Assault Come Strike using the IA2 on Prison Break, and I do pick up other guns like Remington and Vector. So, today I'm going to be talking about how I started gaming. How did I even start gaming? Do any of you guys know? Have I ever talked about it? Well, I vaguely remember mentioning it in a video, or I think I did it in an school if I'm not too sure, but I never really elaborated. And since I get this question an insane amount of time, and a lot of recent subs probably don't even know everything about me or anything about me, and I'm here to change that. So, soon you will come to learn every single little detail of my life. Including... Stuff you may not want to do, no, actually, not mind. <laughs> but anyways, people are always saying stuff like, oh, you just play for attention. Oh, you just play COD. Oh, you never played any real games. You're not a gamer. And all those comments just make me want to slap myself so hard the stupid comes out of the person. It made sense in my mind, okay? <laughs> and anyways, this all started when I was six years old. Me and my little brother got into a fight, and we always used to fight, and he just take it because I was older, and I was older, I could do whatever I want. And my parents were sick of us fighting, so my dad went out and he got us a PlayStation 1, which was my first console. And the first game I had on it was Jam Pack, which was a demo disc, and it had a bunch of games, and it was only $5. It was like a disc that had like maybe like 10 demos of games that were coming out, or games that were just dead or new. And games were still expensive back then, even though this was like in 98 or 99. I know some of you guys weren't even born then. <laughs> but I do remember getting Digimon World 1 and it was $50, but it came with a hollow foil card and it was, I think it was a metal Greymon. And me and my brother fought over it and ripped it up, so that didn't end up very well. He was just mad because I always made him player two. <laughs> but anyways. After playing Jam Pack, I discovered games like Metal Gear, which ended up being my favorite series. And still, after like 15 years, it's still my favorite series. So I've been a Metal Gear fan for a really long time now. But anyways, Metal Gear was one of my first full games, and I loved it even though it was really scary when I was a kid. Like, I used to make my mom, yes, my mom would play for me and get Snake into the elevator in the beginning because me and my brother were too scared, and every time we get caught, we would, like, scream and go crazy, but <laughs> come on, we were, like, six playing an M-rated game. But I'm sure there are plenty of six-year-olds on pod today. <laughs> but anyways, another series that was amazing that I was addicted to when I was a kid was Contra. Legacy of War was my favorite. It was like a third-person shooter. It was an amazing game. And I'd like to do Let's Plays of that game and other retro games. I don't know if they're considered retro. PlayStation 1, half of you guys haven't even played PlayStation 1 games and probably don't know what I'm talking about, but they are extremely fun. But anyways, I did get a PS2 years and years after. It was a, when the Slim came out, and I remember I got Kingdom Hearts with it. And that was actually a great day, because I was sick and stayed home from school that day. My mom was like, hey, let's go out and get a PlayStation. Finally, which was awesome. <laughs> but I never really got consoles or games early when I was a kid. Like, as soon as they came out, my parents couldn't afford it, so... I could only get a game like every few months or whenever when it was a sale. Like I could never get a console when it first came out. PS2 and PS3, I didn't get till the Slims came out. So I had to wait a while. But games were different back then. They literally took forever to beat. Like Xenosaga, another one of my favorites. And I was fine with one game every few months. It's not like the games they put out today, like five, six hours to beat a game. And people hate on COD, but at least it's a game that you can play all year round and has a lot of replayability. And that was really important to me when I was a kid, like having a game that you could play over and over again or have the extra missions or whatever that took a while to beat. So that's all for today. Comment below and tell me what your first console was. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you're new to my channel. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.